Today we will introduce you to our new indicator called the Technical Ratings Indicator. And as you can see, it looks like this. See these blue and red bars here at the bottom of the chart? That's the new Technical Ratings Indicator. You can also see it shows you some information in this message box. Well, let us just show you how to add this to your chart. Then we'll dive into how it's calculated and what it means. So to get started, head up to your indicators and strategies menu and open it. Now you can get to the technical ratings indicator by searching technical ratings. And there it is. You can click to add it to your chart. You can also simply go to built-ins here, scroll down. It is sorted by alphabetical order. Remember, built-in indicators are the indicators created by the TradingView team and hard-coded into the platform, whereas the public library is where traders and investors like you from around the world are coding and creating their own indicators or strategies. Okay, but let's get back to the technical ratings indicator. Now we click it and it's been added to our chart just like that. So we can see that the bars are shaded in different colors of blue and different colors of red. That's because the darker the blue means a stronger buy, whereas the darker the red would mean a stronger sell. So how is this calculated and how can you use this? Let's dive in. Now on our official blog, we have some more information about how you can use this new indicator new built-in pine indicator technical ratings with some more walkthroughs so there's technical ratings click it and then of course most importantly there is this part right here which dives into the exact calculation because this is what the technical ratings indicator is based on you are getting an assortment of indicators combined into one easy to see visual so as you can see it says right here the overall rating of the indicator includes two large groups of indicators the first consists of smas and emas the ichimoku cloud vwma and whole ma so all of these indicators are compressed into one the second group is calculated based on oscillators such as RSI, Stochastic, CCI, ADX, AO, Momentum, MACD, Stochastic RSI, Williams Percentage R, Bulls and Bear Strength, and UO. So as you can see, a lot of indicators are comp compressed into these bars. It is an assortment that is meant to quickly show you a visual for where all these indicators are largely pointed toward. Now you may have seen these before. This is a very similar process. So this is the Apple symbol page on TradingView. And if you click technicals here, you'll see these speedometers. Well, the speedometers do something quite similar to this. They are adding up an, an assortment of indicators of oscillators and moving averages, and then displaying them as these speedometers, neutral, buy, strong buy, or strong sell and sell. This indicator, the technical ratings indicator, which you can add to your chart, follows a similar process. It's just that now you can see these bars displayed directly on the chart and get some information right here. So in this video, we've also included some text here at the top right, which you can read, and we'll also put this in the description below. What's really, really important about this indicator is to understand how much is compressed into it. And it is a lot. It is a, you know, we really synthesize in just a basket of oscillators and moving averages. So once again, in these bars here, we've combined simple moving averages and EMAs with different lengths, the Ichimoku cloud, VWMA, and HOLMA. We've also included a second group of oscillators, such as RSI, Stochastic, CCI, ADX, and all of these other oscillators listed here. And then the end result are these bars, which are meant to show you whether it is a strong buy, strong sell, weak buy, or weak sell. So a few tips and tricks about using this indicator, by the way, are that you can double click on it to open its settings, and you can completely customize its look, its feel, and what levels you want to be displayed. 
So if you go to inputs as well, you can also change its time frame. So if you want to do multi, multiple time frame analysis, you can quickly do that. Remember, this chart is currently set to a daily chart. So the indicator is also set to a daily chart, same as chart. But we can see technical ratings on a different time frame, meaning if we were to go to one week, well, now we're seeing a, a daily chart of GameStop with a one week indicator time frame. Or, of course, if we did 45 minutes, we would be seeing now a 45 minute technical ratings indicator with a daily chart. So you can use this tool to perform multiple time frame analysis. We'll go back to same as chart. Now, here's what's really important about this technical ratings indicator. Remember what we said earlier, the indicator consists of two groups, moving averages. So here's the first group, moving averages with different lengths, the Ichimoku cloud and more, and also oscillators. So here's all the oscillators that are included. Well, depending on what type of trader or investor you are, you can select what you would prefer to see. Whether you want to see both of these large groups combined, so this group and this group combined into one to show you this visual, or if you just want to focus, say, on the moving averages, see how quickly that changes. Or if you just want to focus on oscillators, look how that changes. So it's totally up to you depending on what type of trader you are. For the sake of this video, we're going to focus on all because we think it's pretty cool how we can combine these two different indicators and show them on the chart like this. So all of these indicators compressed into one. You can also change the color. Uh, neutral, buy color, sell color can all be changed. So watch these colors as we click through. Maybe we maybe we would prefer green, so now it's green, or this sort of more teal color, now it's teal. So this is the technical ratings indicator in a nutshell, and what we will do is actually just walk you through an example now. Why don't we go to a chart of the USD JPY? And here we are on the USD JPY. Now, how, how could we use the technical ratings indicator to make a better decision? Well, what we could say is here is a chart of the USD JPY, a daily chart. We've noticed that there was a pretty substantial uptrend here. Sorry for that drawing, but there was a pretty substantial uptrend. We should just get our arrow tool. There we go. And let's make sure that we have this as the right color. There we are. So there was a pretty substantial uptrend. And if you look here, we saw that the moving averages and oscillators were all pointing to buy. So maybe we should just wait for that technical strength to set up again. So in this example, what we would do is we can see right now it says neutral at the moment. And there is sort of this downtrend happening, you can see. So what we would do then in this case is we're going to analyze the strength of this asset by not doing anything. We're not going to sell it and we're not going to buy it until we get a better confirmation from the aggregate of all of these technical ratings showing us a little more strength. Then from there, maybe we'll make a play. But in this example, we might say this looks like an interesting support line. Let's make sure our color matches. There we are. So you can see it bounced here, bounced here, bounced here, bounced here. Maybe what we'd rather do is wait for it to revisit this line and then look for a confirmation in the technical ratings if we were looking to buy, of course. So we'd be looking for a bounce off this and a corresponding level of strengths. We just want to see more green bars in the technical ratings indicator. We want to see that the moving averages and the oscillators are both pointing to strength. They're both saying buy. So this is a great example, this whole area here. Area here. Look how much green there is. It just shows that the moving averages were trending, the oscillators were trending, and there was significant strength. So that's what we'll do. That's how we would use this indicator as an example. Now remember, one really important thing about this indicator is these are never buy and sell recommendations. You always have to do your own research, always. And that is really important. Instead, this tool should just be used as a way to measure and research the symbols you're interested in to get a feel for 
what are a basket of indicators quickly saying about an asset that you care about? So we just opened up this chart of Apple, and what we can see here is the moving averages are saying strong sell, the oscillators are saying neutral, when combined, they're saying sell. So a basket of technical indicators are telling us that right now is not a perfect time to buy. Instead, it's possible that it's trending downward and the technical indicators are telling us to lay off for a bit. Maybe wait until we can catch more green bars or even better, we may look for the start of some green bars like these here and then look to enter a position. Of course, if you are shorting, if that's what you're looking for, you're looking to conform, confirm a short position, well, in that case, this might be of interest to you. You might use this as a guide or some sort of component to your research. Not only are you looking to short it, you've done some research, but you've also quickly checked the technical ratings indicator and you found that the moving averages say strong sell, the oscillators say neutral, when combined, they say sell. Now, if you really want a confirmation, you could possibly wait for these oscillators to flip to sell as well, because right now they're neutral. Now, one final way you could use this indicator, and as you can see, we're going between different asset classes, is you add technicals to your chart, this technical ratings indicator, and what you're going to do now is you're going to look back in time and look for similar instances. So let's actually drag this up to make it slightly bigger. So as you can see, there's this little area of uncertainty. It says neutral. Well, we haven't seen that for a while, have we? So how you could also use this indicator is you can now go back in time to study how this particular asset, <clears throat> asset traded in other points in time. So for example, if we zoom in, we see that there was some indecision back here too. Look at this, some indecision, some more indecision. So what does what would this tell us then? We see now there's some indecision forming here. What this would tell us is that these moments in time actually tend to last. So now what we can do is use the date range tool and we can line it up. So as you can see, it started here. So let's click and it ended here. See this point? So let's click. So it said 11 days. Okay, we can do the same here. Let's see this and then drag it to here. There's six days. So now what we're learning is that when you do see these choppy sideways action, when you start to see some weakness, it's going to last for at least a week. It rarely, rarely does not last in a shorter period of time. You can see there's a little bit here and here, but as you zoom out, you start to realize, well, wait a second, these actually come in clusters. So you can start to see the clusters really popping out. And you can use this information just to slow down or maybe to make better decisions. For example, this is just beginning. So if we were looking to buy or sell, maybe we want to drag this out and say, let's wait five days. Let's wait for these technical ratings to get a little stronger, just like they did here and just like they did here. And then we might initiate a trade. So we hope that this video helped you get started with the technical ratings indicator. Once again, remember, this is never a recommendation to buy or sell. What's really important about this tool is that it is for you, all TradingView members, and it's how you can simply improve your trading or investing process. So you can use these technical ratings indicator to get a better feel and understanding for the assets that you care about moving averages, oscillators, and then of course the combined. You can double click to open up the settings menu and make adjustments as needed. And then lastly, if you're looking for more information, please head to our blog to read more about the technical ratings built-in indicator. Specifically, if you wanna dive more into how it's calculated, remember that's all right here. Two groups, moving averages and oscillators, are combined into one easy to see visual and you can sort or see them however you please. For example, when we click settings, we can decide just to look at moving averages, or we can just look at oscillators, or we can combine them into this visual. And then of course, lastly, if you're looking to utilize these more on TradingView from your account, remember on any symbol page, click technicals, and you will see 
some speedometers, and they are calculated in a similar manner. So you can actually see the breakdown up front. Oscillators, here they are, tells you the value and the action, whether it's neutral, buy, sell. And then moving averages, it tells you each moving average with its length, its value, and then whether it's a buy, sell, or neutral. So thanks for watching, and as always, press slash, use the search box to find anything you're looking for, like technical ratings. And you may also notice that there is a tech technical rating strategy here. Well, what's pretty cool about the technical rating strategy is this is an actual back-tested buy and sell strategy showing you that if you were to buy and sell following the technical ratings tool, how would that look? And you can examine all of that in the strategy tester once you've added the strategy to your chart. We'll make another video for that coming up. But for now, we hope that this just helped you get started. Technical ratings. Have fun with it. Please let us know what you think. And thanks for watching.